Due to the high number of vehicle fires recently, Star News decided to speak to Ted Anderson, Martinsville Fire Chief. It's kind of odd, even though we call them accidents, they seem to run in spells. Same thing with medical calls and fires, and we have been in, in sort of a, a spell or regimen of vehicle fires here lately in the city and county. Chief Anderson told us what to do and what not to do in case your vehicle catches on fire. It depends on the situation. If you're going down the road, you may not even realize that it's on fire. You may have some of the, the, the fellow drivers making you aware, making funny gestures, pull over, so forth. If that's the case, uh, watch where you pull over at. You know, you do want to try to pull over as immediately as possible, but you want to stay away from dry vegetation. Definitely don't pull up uh, to a gas pump beside of another vehicle near another building, something like that. So try to avoid those areas. But yes, first thing is get the vehicle stopped as quickly as possible because depending on where the fire is, you could lose your power steering, you could lose your brakes. So the quicker you can stop the vehicle, uh, unlock the doors as quickly as possible. Don't forget that even though you've been used to hitting the electric lock, you do have a manual release on the door. Uh, in a panic mode, people will forget about that. So stop the vehicle as quickly as you can, preferably on a paved concrete area away from anything else. Unlock the doors, get yourself and any passengers out as quickly as possible. The chief also told us who to call in case your vehicle catches on fire. When you recognize any problem at all going down the road, pull over safely, stop as quickly as you can onto a, a, a paved concrete surface, stay away from any vehicles, buildings, so forth. As soon as you have stopped, unlock the doors, get everyone out of the vehicle. If you have time and if the flames or smoke are not that extreme, if you think about it, pull the release. Stop right there. Call 911. Let the firefighters, let the, the police officers actually keep extinguishers with them as well and let someone that's trained in it handle it. Anderson gave us additional advice on what to do. What I do recommend is actually pulling the release, but stop right there. Reason being, if you pull the release, that will uh, release the first mechanism that locks the hood down. When firefighters arrive or it's someone with a fire extinguisher, that's one of the most difficult tasks is actually getting to the fire. So, but by pulling that release, you get sort of a jump on it. What happens during a vehicle fire, a lot of times the cable that's running up to the release will actually burn in two or the mechanism that holds it will melt and therefore that, that release is useless and it's extremely difficult to get in a hood. However, when you pull the release, do not raise the hood because once you raise the hood, a couple of things are going to happen. One, you're going to, you're going to provide more oxygen to the fire. Most likely it will blaze on you so your immediate reaction is to drop the hood and you've defeated the pur purpose of, of the release, not to mention uh, making the fire worse and possibly burning yourself. There's a huge misconception about gas tanks exploding. It, it's possible, but not likely. Uh, the, the, the vapors are what you need to be concerned with. And, you know, a full tank of gas, I'm actually, I'd actually prefer a, fuel t a full tank of gas on a vehicle fire than, a, than an empty tank because the vapors are what burn. You do need to move away from the vehicle, and you want to move away from the sides of the vehicle. You don't want to move away in front of or behind the vehicle because the bumpers actually have hydraulic shocks on them. And once those hydraulic shocks heat up, they can actually shoot off like rockets. So uh, when you are exiting and moving away from the vehicle, do stay to the side of the vehicle. For Star News, I'm Jessica Robinson reporting.